morning everybody it's really early it's about 6 20. we are loaded up the dogs here with us say hi everybody they're like what are you doing so early We are headed to Flagstaff to do a bunch of errands and we're leaving at the crack of dawn to try and beat the heat. Yep. So we got a big list of stuff to get from Home Depot. Yep. Projects around the homestead and a couple other errands. So pretty much you're going to fill the trailer. We can haul 4,500 pounds in the trailer and that's <laughs> pretty close to how much stuff we're going to buy today. 4,500 pounds. No way. What? All right. We'll see. <laughs> All right, first stop, Home Depot. Ed's ready to go. <laughs> Mask wearing bull. <laughs> Ed. And what do we get those for, Ed? We got these so, so that, that we can hook them up to the RV for propane. And two of these was cheaper than buying one 40 pound. Yep, that way we don't necessarily have to move the RV to get propane. All right, next stop, we're at the gas station. We went ahead and invested in some more gas cans so that just to try and limit how often we have to move the RV off the property easier to fill the little cans and we can add gas to the RV from that which we need if we're running the onboard generator all right Okay, much needed stop for food. Getting a cheeseburger and green bean fries. What do you got, Ed? Cheeseburger and All right. We haven't eaten all day. We've been doing all this stuff. We're approaching exhaustion and low blood sugar, so time to eat. And explain why we're here. Okay, now we're at stop four or five. Um, I don't know. <laughs> a million? <laughs> Sue is going into the UPS store. This is where we have our post office box, which is our mailing address, and where we have all of our packages shipped to. And we have some packages to pick up. I think one of them is a cell phone booster that we're gonna hook up uh, for an even better signal than we're getting now dogs are kind of hot they're getting kind of sick of being in the car but I'd rather have them in the car hot with us than uh, back at the RV by themselves so anyway one more stop after this which is at a place called Sam's Club it's kind of like a Costco but uh, owned by Walmart so anyway till then all right our last stop Sam's Club stock up on some food items all right we're done at sam's club cars loaded up we just bring the ice chest and then that way we can put our cold food in there trailer's all full and we are tired what do you think homie it's been a long day Okay, we're here on the way back home. We decided to stop and let the dogs get out and 
do their business and walk around in the cool shade for a minute. Here's little man. Doing what he's gonna do. Isn't that right, little buddy? Where you going, homie? Where you going, homie? Just a quick note for anybody watching this, if you're visiting here in Arizona, there has been a fire restriction statewide since I think March. It means you're not allowed to have a campfire anywhere ever. And here is nice evidence that somebody here has had a campfire in the last few days. This entire forest, all the forests in Arizona right now are a tinderbox. People that live here know better, but unfortunately people that come here to camp don't. So I'll ask you very nicely, don't have a fire, don't be an idiot. Don't burn our forest down. They said on the news two mornings ago that 90% of the forest fires that have happened in Arizona this year were caused by campfires. I seriously doubt any of those were by people who live in this state. Those are all done by visitors. So if you're visiting Arizona, have some respect. Thank you. Good dogs today riding around in the car. Homie, what do you think, buddy? You good boy. Who wants a drink of water? Come on, who wants to get a drink of water? Get a drink of water, homie. Walks right by it. Luna, you want a drink of water? <laughs> this is why this is why Bandit's <laughs> having such a hard time. Yep, the fresh bag of jerky. Now we're sitting in a construction zone. Traffic is not moving. Ninety-one degrees outside. I'm about ready to fall asleep. Wake me up. <laughs> Little homie doesn't seem like he likes this very much. I think he's ready to get out of the car. Luna's doing all right. Homie, come here, buddy. You want to come up here? Come, here. come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Puggy. Oh. <laughs> oh, get up here, boy. <laughs> Good job, Holmes. How you doing, Good boy. High five. High five. No. Too tired. No. Nope. Too tired for high fives. Oh, are you a hot dog? You got ice cold air conditioning blasting on you. Can't be that bad. Homie, we're stuck here forever. We just want to go home. <laughs> so we left. What time did we leave the property? 6.15? Yep. That's now 2.30. I'm tired. It's a long damn day. I'm doing a lot of physical labor lately. Yes. I wasn't built for that. <laughs> when I get back, I'm going to drink cold beer and I'm going to sit outside and smoke a cigar. I am going to drink ice water and probably take a nap or play video games. I think they're not letting anybody. So on our way driving in, we stopped and read a zoning notice that a large corporation has bought 120 acres out here towards Highway 64 and they want to build a campground. I could only imagine how big of a campground it would be on 120 acres. I think it's gonna be a lot of people out here that are not gonna be happy about it, but uh, 
Yeah, the notice was for they're going to have an online community meeting. So I guess that gives everybody that lives out here the opportunity to say, you know, hey, we don't want this or whatever. So that's kind of interesting. And it's all going to be online because of COVID. Everything's shut down. But maybe we'll get online and see what it's all about. I'm curious to see what the people that live closer to that area think. Personally, I don't mind. Yeah, because we're only far gonna, away. <laughs> it, we're far away from it, and it's only going to raise the value of my property. Um, but like that guy that's got his property right there next to it, I don't know if I'd be into it if I was him. I mean, it's, no, but anytime you buy property close to, a high, close to the highway and you don't have to drive very far back, eventually you're going to get screwed. You're not going to stay <laughs> private for very long. I mean, if you want privacy people, you can't go for easy pickings. I mean, when we, if we want privacy when we're out boondocking, we can't camp anywhere near a town. You have to go about 30 or 40 miles away from town to get privacy. And honestly, most people don't want to do that. They want an easy pickings. They want a short drive into town, but I don't. I wanted privacy. I mean, a lot of people ask, what is our main thing we want to do with our property? Nothing. Not a whole lot. <laughs> the reason why I bought 10 acres is because I want at least two to three acres between me and my neighbor. Right now, I've got well over two acres between me and my two neighbors that I know well, which is <laughs> Aja and Bruce. I like it that way. I like my privacy. I may want to walk outside and pee without worrying about anybody seeing me. Call me crazy, but I'm a guy. All guys do it, too. Well, you were walking around in your underwear all day yesterday because it was so hot. I did. It was hot. I was walking around in my underwear outside. So what? With a cold beer in my hand. I may walk outside in my underwear smoking a cigar with a cold beer in my hand when we get home. <laughs> We have a passenger. Can stowaway. you see the, the up at the stowaway? The grasshopper has caught a ride on our windshield wiper and he is hanging on. He's been on here now for about a half mile. <laughs> he's got like a weird orange underbelly. Yeah, he's got an orange, orange body. Orange legs too. He's just chilling. Yep. We had a stowaway. Yep, he's along for the ride. <coughs> this section of the road we have to go very slow because the trailer is loaded very heavy. I'm thinking that we're probably close to 4,000 pounds, maybe a little more than that. And uh, the maximum cargo we can put in the trailer is 4,500. It weighs 2,500 empty and it's a 7,000 pound total. So. That's why we're going slow because there's no reason to break our equipment. We are in no hurry. We don't have any jobs to hurry back to. Thank we're God. not we're not doing this for a customer or any bullshit like that. So oops, sorry. Uh oh. Watch out. Ding. One thing you may not all know about me, when the camera's off, I cuss like <laughs> a trucker. I spent a lot of years working construction and I don't say things softly. <laughs> okay, we're back home. Just give you a quick view of the whole camp. There it is. Still got some stuff to do. Got lots of stuff to do. And if you're wondering when I left my razor out here, how did I lock it up? Well, Locked up my generator by putting a cable through the wheel and just in case if they tried to take the wheel off Up here I put a cable through the brake rotor and the front suspension good luck with that If they want it that bad, they're gonna get it You have to remember people locks are to keep honest people out Crooks will always get what they want no matter what Okay